Hi, it's Leslie Stalker, and I'm going to talk about the technique of dry brushing today. Um, it's easy, but it does take a little bit of practice. What you do is you want to put just a very little bit of paint, and that's actually too much. Uh, you want to wipe it off if it's too much. Really, just a very little bit of paint. And then you feather the edges. If you put too much, you can always wipe it. But what you want to do is hit the highlights. And again, this helps create more shadow and interest. This is a mirror um, that was actually given to me. I think it was uh, from Pier One. And it was a dark, dark brown. And I've painted it and actually changed my mind several times on the color. So it has a base of uh, French linen, uh, old white, and Paris gray. But I want to highlight the edges a little bit more than they are right now. So you put, with, this is the dry brush technique. And it's, you, it's called dry brush because you don't dip your, your brush in any water. You put a very little bit just on the tip and you lightly just hit the edges. And then go back and blend it in a little bit. The reason I'm using this technique is because you don't want it to have brush marks uh, and you're not really wanting to put much paint on. You're really wanting to create more the illusion of shadows and highlights. And so in this case, I'm using white, uh, old white, and I'm lightly hitting the edges to help create focus um, between the shadows and highlights. Dry brushing is just one of many techniques. Um, and so if you enjoyed this and felt it was helpful, just hit the subscribe button uh, in your, on the lower part of your screen and I will see you soon.